If I may, I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Unity. Do you remember that? Because he was stopping us, implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but... Why not talk to him? I don't mind taking a detour to gather data. Only thing we'd lose is time, really. Thank you. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. We can pay to fix the damages, but, well... Take some things break. are irreplaceable. Chat. I need everyone looking out for each other during this time. Losses hit a small group like ours especially hard. No more. I need to inventory all our equipment and other odds and ends for damages. You mean what could be the biggest discovery in the history of humanity? Yeah, I've got some thoughts. Scans are still inconclusive, but I think we've seen enough to know that we're dealing with something potentially even more unusual than the artifacts. There are so many questions beyond just who are they? How did they find you? How do they know about the artifacts? Why has no one ever seen them before? They did openly threaten you, as I understand it. I'd say that's something to worry about. It was one thing when this was just about us investigating the artifacts. Uh, a weird phenomenon that didn't come with creepy threats or questions about aliens or whatever it is that's going on now. I know we'll figure it all out in the end. It's just kind of a lot right now. If you need time away from here, I'll understand. We all have to recover in our own way. Thank you for helping me out.
constellation has suffered losses before, although none quite so violently. here before the city? Just tell me how many zeros I need to add to the office. I'm sorry, sir. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. A doctor. Yes. Exactly. War memory. It's like, like we can stop to pay when respects. someone insults you. You'd like you want to just beat the shit out of them for some times, uh, but you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels, understand his pain, accept it and deliver it not back upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy. <laughs> but you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can just love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah, why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity peace and war back and forth like forever? Seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. Well, it's not easy, no, but necessary. Because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to reach into the stars, to travel his path, to truly find him. But we can't do it alone. The only way is through unity. Huh. Yes, Andreas. Yes. Unity. Well, I'm sure you all have other things to do. Thank you for taking the time to stop and talk with me. He's giving me a lot to think about. Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Oh, Matteo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Oh. Yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something... secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? 
There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun, and he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Dusty, if you're ever thinking. Welcome to the House of Enlightenment. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, we're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Oh, sorry. I didn't. Good to meet you. How did you end up joining? A lot of atheists just stick to themselves, you know? I hope we helped you through whatever trouble you were having. It's funny, you know? I think about our names sometimes. House of Enlightenment. It's supposed to be a callback to Age of Enlightenment, when humanity first began to see the universe through science, not superstition. But, of course, most people just think we're being condescending. Anyway, was there something else you needed? 
Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a unity pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of two that. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Besides what the Keeper would say about it? Sounds like a gathering point, or a center. Or, in mathematics, it would mean one, like the one, the first or the beginning. Nice talking to you. I do our jobs. If it's about the fun... Oh, you know. Did Keeper Aquilus send you? Oh, boy. Yes, he sent us to talk to you about, what was it, a unity pilgrim, I believe? Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a unity pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. Yeah, I mean, he's always going on about trying to bring people of all beliefs together. Really wants there to be some shared story or origin. Look, I like the Keeper, but belief is the problem, okay? We don't need a shared narrative or theology. We need to help each other in practical terms. Good luck out there. Got a moment? Let's catch up. Every time I see that statue, I feel a little bit more. Can't really explain why, but I do. You will be scanned as you get. A visitor? I have all the company I need. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. He sent both of us to ask more incessant questions, actually. 
The great serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. You don't need to tell us. We just figured it would be better to ask you directly than to take a second-hand account of your words. Yes, I have spoken to your keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down. But the Unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. I have heard of no such thing. If it exists, it is a shadow that the Great Serpent casts to deceive the Faithless. Then we are done. Leave me. Hey, Dusty. If you're ever thinking to yourself... Exploring the galaxy is hard work. I sure hope your day's going as well as mine is. Have some exploring the galaxy is hard work. Trust me, I know. There's a lot of work that needs to if it's about the fun. Oh, you're not. Yeah, something like this. Listen, I've talked about our early records of most, but there is. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment, the founder. So they think he, if you're philosopher, and the founder's is, and it kind of goes on. It's part of our core principles. There's no God pushing us to do good for some eternal reward. We have to help each other because we choose to. If no one takes responsibility for making the settled systems better, then we're just leaving it to the tyrants to bully the rest of us. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. Well, fortunately, that got... Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. Oh, hey, actually, hold up one second. You're part of the Enlightened, right? Yeah, a little practical aid from your friends in the movement. Sure if those 
Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Yes. That's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? It is one of the great contradictions of belief. We feel the presence of something out there, but we insist that it is also everywhere. So you think this word unity describes that divine unknowableness that the pilgrim searched for? We're mostly interested in your thoughts. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun. I have to admit. Go, find your truth. Exploring the galaxy is hard work. Trust me, I know. It's not my... few minutes. Probably not hours, though. But no guarantee. You didn't hear this from me. exactly as we left it, right? Right. Explore. 
galaxy is hard work. Trust me, I know. Stop by sometime. Let's talk. Just us adventurers. Okay? What did you need? I look forward to it. You two go on. I have academic journals to review. And the galaxy's cheesy as hoagie to devour. An interesting mix of activities. I hope they are both enjoyable. You got my attention, Captain. Every world with living things is a treasure. Hello.
someone made a concerted effort to survive here, and yet it would seem it will not work out. Hopefully these low temperatures do not interfere with our electronics. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship.
Never mind then. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, you're trying. That's what matters. Hydrocarbons in abundance. Let us see how they have arranged themselves. some connection to the creatures in the area. What could it mean? Any adventure you can fly away from. This is 
stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. Good. Hold on to that determination. Because you're about to learn there's a higher prize at stake. The Unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place. A gateway. It is where we were reborn. So, uh... I gotta say, this part is more awkward than I thought. Hiding my face was way easier. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, 
I was the one who stayed at the launch to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your launch because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks, to give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Bingo! I want a truce. Between all three of us. I will give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine. Were the Hunters. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. I'll tell you, I'm sure you have more questions. It is not an easy experience to describe. But the Unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard, but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again. 
As yours won't have its real me. The unity is meant for whomever can get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me. Hacking through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. That's... new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No. Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. That it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the Unity itself doesn't judge. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there. You must discover for yourself. Here. To open the way. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. <laughs>